tough questions mm. for Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel on Capitol Hill about Idaho POW Bo Bergdahl. The secretary defended the Obama administration's controversial prisoner exchange that freed Bergdahl from the Taliban. The administration is facing tough criticism from lawmakers in both parties who claim the deal could make America less safe. Many lawmakers are furious they were not told about the swap. Hegel acknowledged their frustrations at being kept in the dark, but said the exchange needed to take place quickly and quietly. He was adamant in his defense of the deal, saying it was part of, quote, the dirty business of war. America does not leave its soldiers behind. We made the right decision, and we did it for the right reasons. All of these decisions are part of the brutal and perfect realities we all deal with in war. Critics from both sides of the aisle say the cost of the trade was too high because it freed hardened terror suspects, allowing them to possibly rejoin the fight against the U.S. There are going to be costs, lives associated, lost lives associated uh, with uh, what came out of this. Still a bad deal. I can't explain it back home to my fellow West Virginians. This transfer sets a dangerous precedent in negotiating with terrorists. Many Americans also agree. A new ABC News Washington Post poll shows more Americans disapprove of the swap than approve. As for Sergeant Bergdahl, he remains at a military hospital in Germany where he is recovering from the physical and mental toll of his five years in captivity. Senator Jim Brish says the price we paid to get Bergdahl back was also too high. Idaho's junior senator, who sits on the Senate Intelligence and Foreign Relations Committee, spoke to On Your Side about the prisoner exchange. He says similar deals had been brought to the Intelligence Committee. This exact deal was brought up in 2011 and 2012, except instead of five, they wanted six. There was unanimous agreement amongst uh, both Republicans and Democrats in Congress, and also the intelligence community and the Department of Defense, that this was the wrong thing to do. Rich went on to say that a prisoner exchange was not bad, just too high a price.